after we've thought about this problem a little bit, there should be a few things you can tell me about what the answer could be. Not necessarily what it is, but what it could be. The question says, what is the pH of a solution formed when 10 milliliters of an acid with a pH of 3 is diluted to 1 liter of pure water? The first question is, if it is diluted, what's going to happen to the pH? It's going to go up towards what number? Towards 7. Okay, towards 7. We know it's not going to cross 7, but it'll go up towards 7. So if your answer is not between 3 and 7, you, do, you did something wrong, period. That's one way to double check at the end. But if we look at the problem here, it's asking for what is the pH of a solution. So we want to know the pH of a solution when 10 milliliters of an acid, that's the volume of the acid, it has a pH equal to 3. It's diluted to a volume of 1 liter. How many milliliters is in a liter? How many milliliters in a liter? A thousand of them. So the good thing is we could say this volume here is a thousand milliliters. Now the cool thing about this is you notice that the volume goes from 10 milliliters to a thousand. If I just say 10 milliliters over 1,000, what factor are we diluting by? Cross out two zeros. This equals 1 over what? 100. Now, we know that the pH is related to the dilution factor. 1 over 100 is equal to 1 tenth times 1 tenth. If we decrease, if we dilute it by a factor of 10, how many, how many pH units is that equal to? 1. So if I did it twice, 1 plus 1 equals what? 2. So it's going to change by 2 pH units. So if we started at 3 originally, what must it go to? Does it go to 1? That's a difference in 2. Or does it go to 5? It's got to go to 5. So this is the cool thing about this problem. That's all you need to do to find the pH of this solution equaling 5. You notice I did not use my calculator at all for this. Didn't have to. It's very, very nice. Now, this problem can also be done using the M1V1 equation, but it's a little bit harder to do because you have to convert pH to concentration before you solve the problem. So this is one way to approach a problem thinking about how it's diluted a little bit more than just using the calculator. So. <clears throat> Another way of approaching this problem is using M1V1 equation. To do this, this is what it would look like. You got 10 milliliters of an acid, so that's going to be our initial volume. The molarity of the acid, it has a pH of 3, so the molarity is 10 to the negative 3. This will equal the molarity, which we do not know, of the diluted sample times the volume, which is 1,000 liters. So to solve this, I've got 1 times 10 to the negative third times 10 milliliters equals the molarity times 1,000. To solve this, we divide each side by 1,000 liters. Divide each side by 1,000 liters. This cancels this out. Molarity equals 1 times 10 to the negative third over 1,000. 10 to the third times 10. So using this equation and a calculator, calculator that I left out, or scrap that, can't do this in my head, somebody can. So 1e3 negative divided by 1e3 times 10, and this equals, this equals a concentration of 1 times 10 to the negative fifth. So that's the hydrogen ion concentration. If we take the negative log of that number, again, 1 times 10 to the negative fifth, 
we know that equals 5. So this is another way of solving this problem. The one thing about this trick, if you have a problem like this, is you do have to make sure, you do have to make sure you're aware that it is a pH and that it's an acid you're talking about. If it's a base, everything you're doing is in terms of pOH. So all your calculations are from the pOH perspective. Or you can just convert it to hydrogen ions. So these are two different ways of approaching it. Again, the conceptual way is a little bit better because it can give you a quicker answer with less math. The formula way sometimes works, but you have to think about what you're doing sometimes with that formula. So at this time, I'd like you to look at the analysis questions. Okay, we're going to be looking at answering questions uh, one and two in the analysis right now. If you're already done, please help out anyone else that might be stuck. Ready, set, go.